you're uh, you got a Nobel Prize for uh, looking out into the trying to reach back into the beginning of the universe, listening to the gravitational waves. Uh, but that still doesn't answer the why. Why are we here? Beyond uh, the, just the yeah. the matter and antimatter. <laughs> the philosophical uh, question. The philo philosophical question about the meaning of life I'm probably not really good at. Um, I think that uh, the individual meaning, uh, I, I would say it rather simplistically, is whether you've made a difference positive difference, I'd say, for anything besides yourself. Um, meaning you could have been important to other people, or you could have discovered gravitational waves that matters to other people or something, but something beyond just existing on the earth as an individual. So uh, your life has meaning if you have affected um, either knowledge or people or something beyond yourself. Do you, that's a simplistic statement, but it's about as good as I can have. That's, that may, in all of its simplicity, it may be very true. Do you think about, uh, does it make you sad that this ride ends? Do you think about your mortality? Yeah. Uh, Are you afraid of it? I'm not exactly afraid of it, but saddened by it and uh, uh, you know I, I'm old enough to know that I've mo lived most of my life and uh, uh, I enjoy being alive I, I can imagine being sick and not wanting to be alive but I'm not and so uh, I'm it's not, been a good ride uh, yeah I'm not ha and I'm not happy to see it come to an end <laughs> I'd like to see it prolonged but uh, I, I don't. Uh, I, I, I don't fear the dying itself or that kind of thing. It's more I'd like to prolong uh, what is, I think, uh, uh, a good life that I'm li living and still living. Well, it's kind of. It's sad to think that the, the finiteness of it is the thing that makes it special. And it, and also sad to, um, you know, to me at least, it's kind of. I don't think I'm using too strong of a word, but it's kind of terrifying the uncertainty of it, the mystery uh -huh. of it. You know, the, it, the mystery of death. The mystery of it, yeah, of death. When we're talking about the mystery of black holes, that's somehow distant, that's somehow out there, and the mystery of our own. But. But but even life, the mystery of consciousness, I find uh, so hard to deal with, too. I mean, it's not as painful. I mean, we're conscious, but the whole magic of life, we can understand, but consciousness, where we can actually think and so yeah. forth, it's pretty... Uh, it's such. It seems like such a beautiful gift that it really sucks that uh, we get to let go of it. We have to let go of it. <laughs> yeah. What do you hope your legacy is? As I'm sure they will... Uh, aliens, when they visit, and humans have destroyed all of uh, human civilization. Aliens read about you in an encyclopedia <laughs> that we'll leave behind. Uh, what do you hope it says? Well, I would, I would hope they, if to the extent that they evaluated me, uh, felt that I helped move science forward as a tangible contribution, and that uh, I served as a good role model for how humans should live their lives. And we're part of creating one of the most incredible things humans have ever created. So yes, there's the science, that's the Fermi thing, right? Yeah. Uh, there, and the instrument, I guess. And yeah. the instrument. Yeah. The in instrument is a magical creation, not just by a human, by yeah. a collection of humans. The collaboration is, um, that's, that's humanity at its best. I I do hope, I do hope we last quite a bit longer. But if we don't, <laughs> this is a good uh, thing to remember humans by. At least they built that thing. <laughs> That's pretty impressive.
Barry, this was an amazing conversation. Thank you so much for wasting your time and explaining uh, so many things so well. I appreciate your time today. Thank you.